All right, guys, time for another exotic review. Now, if Ophidian Aspect is not the best Warlock exotic, I think we got a good contender right here, guys. We're going to review what's called the Vesper of Radius. This is a new Warlock exotic chest piece. Now, watch when I storm trance these ads here. As soon as I start getting close to them, well, not in this particular part, right about here, look at my Rift energy. It is charging up. It charged up really, really quickly. And also, did you notice some damage come off those knights right there when I pop my Rift? So let me introduce you to the Vesper of Radius. Now, this is a Warlock chess piece that ideally is good for the Stormcaller, but it also works for all three subclasses for the Warlock, Voidwalker, and also Dawnblade. But ideally, you want to use this with the Stormcaller. Now, the intrinsic perk to this thing is called Planetary Torrent. Rifts release an arc shockwave when cast, and then Rift Energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by enemies. Now, a big thank you to Wallow on PSN, one of my subscribers, who let me jump on his account and use this thing. Now, watch this. I pop my Rift. Not only did it cause some damage, but look, I'm purposely staying close to these ads. Look at how quickly I got my rift back. The way it works is, okay, when you drop it, it's going to cast an arc shockwave. It does a little bit of damage. I mean, two things like thralls or kind of low power enemies. I'm going to talk about numerous situations where this is going to come in handy. But when you're trying to do DPS on a boss or something and you're getting surrounded by ads, you're just going to get your rift over and over and over. The more ads you have around you, the quicker it's going to recharge. And there is a minimum to how many ads that will actually trigger this thing. So watch these two dregs. I pop it. They both get affected. And you can see it took them, it took their health down. But these are just EDZ, low-level dregs. But you can see I'm standing right next to them. The rift is not charging. So it has to be three or more ads. And the more ads you have around you, the faster it's going to charge. Now, it's also useful when you're in your storm trance because you're going close to ads. It's going to charge like crazy, as you can see here. And look, I just popped my rift mid storm trance. I'm going to go into all these ads here and look, just look at the rift bar. It's going to fill up really, really quickly while I'm in my storm trance. And almost when I'm about out of it, I've got another rift ready to go. So here I am on the Leviathan. I just popped my rift and I'm going to go walk around these guys. You can see the energy bar for my rift is filling pretty quickly. Uh, not as fast as when I was in the midst of all those taken during the taken public event. So the more ads that you're surrounded by, or the closer they are, the quicker it's going to recharge. Now the actual distance of the shockwave is not that far. As you can see, I'm not too close, but I'm not too far. Well, I'm not close enough to actually do any damage on these Cabal. Now to give you an idea in terms of the damage, so they just saw a little snippet of health come off this yellow bar here. This character is 316, and these Cabal are 300, so a little bit of damage. But where it really comes in handy is when you're getting swarmed by Thrall. Look at that. It wastes a whole bunch of them, and some of them are yellow bars. This is a uh, heroic strike, so if it's not going to kill them, meaning they're higher power or whatever, it will actually, the shockwave itself will actually push them back. Watch this knight here. He gets sent flying back as soon as I pop my rift. See, he goes flying back right there. So this is extremely useful in so many situations, whether you're getting swarmed by ads, you want a healing rift, you pop it, it's either going to kill low power enemies near you, or at least push them out of the way. Now one thing I thought was kind of silly, but it's true, it doesn't matter what subclass you're on. Here I am on my Dawn Blade, so obviously rifts are going to charge faster, but the Arc Shockwave does come out of the rift, even if you're on your Dawn Blade or your Void Walker. So you could use this with any class, but ideally you want to use it with your Stormcaller, and I would go with the bottom skill tree in your subclass, which is going to give you Arc Soul. So in conclusion, I'm actually curious when Datto does his Warlock uh, exotic tier list, I'm wondering where he's going to put this. See. For me, a fitting aspect is my favorite, right? Because I'm in Panic Reloader, if you watch my video on it. Uh, I literally don't take them off my character. However, in situations like the Raid Lair and maybe certain parts of the Leviathan Raid, and a lot of times in Strikes, Public Events, this is going to come in very handy if you're using the Healing Rift, right? Let's say you're getting taken down, your health is low, you're getting swarmed by adds, you pop your Rift, not only is it going to push the adds back, it might kill a few, but then you're going to start healing yourself. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end in the comments if you did make it to the end.